they did not stop until the last member was gone. Most people stick to the thought that only humans are capable of doing unexplainable harm onto another. This account is from Jane Goodall, a renowned biologist. There is a psychology theory called the contact hypothesis. The theory states that contact between two groups, ideally under equal status, promotes tolerance and acceptance. And we will come back to that. There was a four-year war between two factions of chimpanzees between 1974 to 1978 in a region in Tanzania. It started when one group of chimps, the Kiskela tribe, separated after the death of their leader. The group that broke away went to occupy the southern lands of the tribe creating their own clan named Kahama. This new tribe consisted of six males, three females, and their young, making up half of the original 20 from the Kiskela tribe. Two years after the separation of the tribe, tensions began to flare and the males of the opposing sides began to taunt each other, making as much noise as they could before returning to their respective territories. Another year passed before the first chimp fell. On January 7th, 1974, a party of four Kiskila chimps went patrolling when they came across a chimp from the Kahama tribe. This chimp was named Godi and he was eating when ambushed by four of the Keskela members who proceeded to beat and then kill the southern chimp. Over the next four years, more of the breakaway Kahama tribe was attacked and killed in a similar way with each attack being worse than the one before. Eventually, one of the founders of the Kahama tribe went missing, presumed to have been killed by the other tribe, after which their leader Charlie was killed, followed by another member going missing, leaving one young male. This last male chimp named Sniff was left alive for a year, then was killed. One of the Kama females were killed, two went missing, and three were beaten, then brought back to the Kiskela tribe. This war only ended once all of the breakaway tribe was eliminated, leaving the Kiskela in charge of the territory before losing it after coming into contact with another larger tribe, and the rest of the territory being raided by members of the Matumba community. However, after this, further hostilities and conflicts eventually ended. It was this instance of animal hostilities which made humans begin to look into animals and the theory of us versus them. Once the original group ceased contact and went to occupy different areas, their tolerance for each other dropped, increasing hostilities and ruining peace. This is not identical to how humans behave, but is close enough to brutality and loyalties to alliances to question animal consciousness and human behavior.